Hey, John Matthews from Refrigeration Mentor here at the 2022 Chill Venta Expo. I'm at the Emerson booth, and as always, Emerson does it really well. There is so many new technologies here from electronics to compression, and I'm excited to talk with my good friend, Daniel DeBeer. How you doing, brother? Hey, so hey, we go back nice. for many, many years. We know each other, and Daniel's gonna talk a little bit about the new transcritical scroll Emerson that has released. Yeah. Um so this is a new transcritical scope and basically we have a completely new range, transcritical and a subcritical version. Um, this transcritical version makes, we're well, no, really excited about it. We think it's going to be a big game changer in this industry. As you can see, much smaller footprint. This is your traditional semi-metric wow. footprint that you will get. This is a scale compressor. Um, comes with highly efficient motors, BDPA motors, um, 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 with the variable speed drive and a controller combination which we can actually use with this. Really excited about this product. Um, now, in our opinion, what Emerson really got right is the use of the vapor injection technology, yeah. which um, you know, basically eliminates your your parallel your need for parallel compression um, on a small system, improves efficiency, uh, uh, um, um, you no, know, reduces cost for the end users. Really excited about this product. You no, know, hoping to be to for it to be available to you no know, the industry quite soon. Um, no, but definitely a game changer for the industry. Yeah, no, and I to I'm totally excited about this because I know that with this compressor, we're going to see this really grow, this side of the industry. What differentiates uh, this vapor injection compared to like the ZF models? Because we see that a lot, you know, in uh, the low temp ZF models, yeah. we got vapor injection, um, we got liquid injection. Yeah. But what? The, how does this one differ um, than those compressors? So your vapor injection in your traditional ZF compressors is basically um, to provide subcooling on your on your refrigeration system, yeah. which also improves efficiency a lot. In this case, we're not doing any subcooling. We're literally just getting rid of the flash gas on top of your receivers and utilizing that instead of having a second compressor or having um, a, 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 a mixed gas and liquid going into your expansion valve. You get clean gas going to your expansion valves. No, improving your efficiency on the system. And that is huge. Now you do not have to have as many compressors in your system. Smaller footprint. Lighter compressor, yep. I'm assuming as well. Yep. I'm, I'm really excited to see more yep. about this. Daniel, yep. thank you so much for taking yep. the time. Thank really you very much, eh? Hey, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you got something out of it, something that you can use in your daily life. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and click the bell button because when you do click the bell button, it will notify you anytime new videos are released. Also, check out the Refrigeration Mentor webpage at refrigerationmentor.com where I'll have all the different trainings, upcoming events, the different podcasts I've been on, as well as the Refrigeration Mentor podcast. If you want to check that out on Apple, Spotify, Google, any service provider of your choice. Super excited to see you at the next video. Now, let's get a conversation going.